Hello everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video which I introduced in my community section that, that is granny poncho flower square motif and uh, unfortunately there is no diagrams here so uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce how to crochet this square motif and how to join and how to set up to poncho and how to add lower edging and neck edging okay and today i'm going to show you how to crochet in one color but uh you can use four colors so the first round second round and third round so you can change the color but fourth and fifth are the same colors that is the the color order from this pattern and they have or uh, one two three four motifs and color sequences four color sequences and so mix it but it's up to you totally up to you and if you can read through this english written pattern that is okay so please follow all that color sequence if you would like to crochet with colors but if you would like to crochet in one color or uh, as you like just enjoy or as you like i'm going to show you in one color so uh, i'm going to skip how to change the color but the procedure is the same just fasten off and tie the stitch at the same place i'm going to start the next round so th that's it so if you know how to change the colors that is okay okay and so let's look into this written pattern before okay let's talk about this pattern this is called granny poncho and this number is already discontinued so i'm going to leave the link in the description box below that is a free pattern from the young inspirations and red heart and uh, the designer is gail bum and uh, using red heart last shim but it is already discontinued and so let's for, uh, refer the dimensions of and yarns or descriptions Okay, so the last seam is 4 ohms and 335 yard skein, which means 113 grams and 306 meters. When you change into 100 grams, that is 271 meters long, and that is uh, mostly the yarn weight is a sport yarn on category two fine yarn and if you would like to use 25 grams balls or 50 gram balls please divide into two or four to check the how many meters or just use category two okay and actually the we have uh that there are two kinds of patterns here so four colors poncho or one color poncho when you want to make four color poncho you need three skeins of the basic color which is black and con accent color is one each a b c d uh so one each so a b c d we need four colors plus three it means you need seven skeins if you'd like to make in one color we need four skeins that is 453 grams and 1225 meters long and i think that is almost oh uh, yeah correct because when i check there this motif that is almost seven grams so seven grams it, and make uh, 64 motifs it is approximately 440 grams so some people needs more a little bit more in my case i need 500 grams to make this poncho using this yarn this is not the actually the same yarn of this yarn but uh, the size is very close and the category two 100 cotton and the recommended crochet fix size is 3.5 ESUSE4 
but to obtain the gauge, you need to change the hook size. In my case, uh, when I make four, one, this motif in the recommended size, that is four and a half inches and four and a half inches. That is 2.5 millimeter hook in my case. And if this size is approximately 11.5 centimeters. So let me show you how large it is. This is four inch and half, uh, maybe vertically. So 11 and half. So this is the same size which I need. And uh, so to obtain the gauge, you sometimes you need to change the hook size. So this is my tip. Okay. Let me talk about the design. So this poncho, we need to make two rectangle motifs and uh, make two alike. First piece and second piece. And each piece has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight motifs and one, two, three, four rows. So, 32 motifs and 32 motifs. When you make first motif and second motif, you need to join. And the first slip, you need to join only one side. Here, here, like this. But from the second slip, you need to join two sides, except the first one. So first one is only joining here. From the second one, you need to join one and two, one and two, one and two sides on each squares, like this. And make two panels alike. Then join to form the, uh, form the poncho. So in this case, you need to join here the shorter and uh, uh, short side of the first panel and long side of the second panel and short side of second panel and long side of the first panel. So that shape is going to be a poncho. After that, we need to add a lower edging and neck edging. I'm going to show you the, illust the illustration of finishing. This is the first shape of the poncho. So we need to uh, join the short side and longer side and short side of the longer side. So when you uh, make the poncho, we show six and four panels on front and two and four panels at back of the first panel and for the second panel four and two rows on front and four and six rows at the back and both are the shape is the same so join here of each and this is the neck opening and this is the lower and the shoulder have one two three four one two three four panels so the size dimensions I'm going to write down. This is the dimensions and we need to check the side to side diagonally. It is almost 15 centimeters or six inches. So from this number, we can calculate the overall length. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So five by five six times is 30 inches and 15 six, five times are 75 centimeters as the same manner we can calculate the neck opening so we have our 30 centimeters or 12 inches opening but we are going to make neck edging so it can reduce a little bit more and for the depth is a uh, so one almost one right 
here almost one so that is uh, approximately 15 centimeters depth okay all right so this is the dimensions and if you would like to make more larger please make larger size of these motifs in that case you can increase the fix size so in my case if i use 3.55 or recommended fix size i can make maybe oh uh, maybe four five inches or five and a half inches so i can increase the size and more okay so calculate like that okay so this is the uh, quick review of this pattern and i'm going to show you how to crochet this square motif let's grab the crochet hook and let's start crochet together okay All right, I'm going to start to crochet. So please grab your yarn and hook. Leave appropriate length of the yarn end and make a slip knot and chain four. One, two, three, four. After making four chains, insert into the first chain and make a link so this is the first foundation chain and make a link okay let's crochet the first round start with four chains count as a double and chain one so three chains count as a double and one more chain for the chain one space and make double crochet and chain one 11 more times so double crochet and chain one yarn over insert into the link yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops Yarn over pull through two loops and one chain. So now I made three doubles and three chain one space. And let's make 12 doubles and 12 chain one space. Four. count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten two more eleven and 12 and chain one and join into the one two three the third chain but we need to make chain one okay so this is the double and next is the chain one so insert here to open the chain one space and join and make a first round 
And if you would like to change the color, one more chain and fasten off and change the color. Okay? All right, so move on to the second round. Let's crochet the second round. Move to the next chain one space and slip stitch. And start with three chains, count as a double. And I'm going to make a beginning cluster. After three chains, into the same chain one space yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull through two loops only and leave two loops on the hook yarn over into the same space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops okay three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through all three loops at a time so this is the beginning cluster it means double crochet three together after that three chains one two three and yarn over into the next chain one space make double crochet three together one two three four loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all and three chains one two three repeat this into the next chain one space one two three <clears throat> and one two three one two three and one two three repeat like this to the to the last chain one space okay i forgot to mention about how to change the color on the second round so in starting from the chain one space and attach the yarn and start with three chains and double crochet three together and then repeat and after that is the same okay and we made one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve clusters and three chains and join into the first cluster but in this case i prefer to pick another stitch of the next one and pick the back bump here so this one so usually we join here but move one stitch further to make oops excuse me I missed so one to three and insert here and join so that shape is more natural isn't it okay so if you'd like to change this uh, yarn please fasten off and change the color and I would like to make this the first one more nicely okay all right and this is the second round so move to the third round so let's crochet the third round so we, when you change the color starting from the chain three space and we are also going to move to chain three space with a slip stitch 
Now I'm in the space. Okay, so the third round, we are going to make stitches apply these chain three spaces. Chain one and into the same space, make a single crochet and one, two, three chains. After three chains, back to the same space and make a single crochet. So let's uh, make a trellis. Okay, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. After five chains, move to the next space and repeat single one, two, three, and single, and one, two, three, four, five. Repeat this all into the three chain spaces. Single, one, two, three, and single in the same space. So shape like this, single, chain three, single, and chain five has a larger space and smaller space, larger space and smaller space. So let's make larger space with five chains. One, two, three, four, five. After that, move it to the next space and make a small space, single, one, two, three chains back to the same space and a single and one two three four five repeat this to the end of the last space all right this is the last space and i just make made the first single and one two three single and make a single crochet after that i usually make five chains and join into the first stitch so if you like to change the colors that is okay but if you would like to crochet with the same color please do like this two chains and yarn over into the first single crochet yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet count as three chains and make the five chain spaces so shape is like this This is the third row and move to the fourth row. And next is the fourth row. And if you would like to using multiple multi colors, please uh, attach the basic co base colors. So round four and round five should be the same color to make that flower stands out. So emphasize these flowers, please use the uh, basic color and emphasize these flowers. Okay, all right, anyway, let's start to crochet round four. So, start with three chains, count as a double. After three chains, back to the same space, make a double crochet. Then, move it to the next chain five space. So we are going to skip these three chains. Use only chain five. Here, 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 here. All three chains, we are going to skip all three chains. Okay. So move to the next five chain space. Make two doubles. One. Two. After making two doubles, make five chains. One, two, three, four, 
5. And yarn over back to the same space, make two more doubles. So made two doubles, five chains, two doubles. And move to the next chain five space. Do the same thing. Two, the, two double crochet and one, two, three, four, five chains and two doubles. So we are going to make two doubles, five chains, two doubles into every five chain spaces. So skip next 10 three space and into the five chain space. Make one, two doubles, one, two, three, four, five. And back to the same space, I'm, I make one and two doubles. So we are going to make the same thing to the end. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chain five spaces and I need to make one more. But please remember we started from a uh, chain three and double here. So we came back to the same space where we started. And we are going to make two more doubles. And we would like to make five chains and join into the third chain. But please remember we did two chains and double crochet to restart at the center of the chain five space. Chain five space. So that uh, I'm going to make the same thing. So two chains and double crochet into the third chain so one two three here and make a double crochet okay so finish the first round and shape is like this so if you'd like to uh, crochet with the three or you know circles Maybe you can use like that, this motif. One, two, three. Oh my god, uh, I made a mistake here, only three chains. So I'm going to list, I'm going to fix it here. So it should be the larger space like here. Okay, I'm coming back. All right, <laughs> now I fixed. Okay, so let's move it to the fifth round. On um, the fifth round is Where do I start it from here? Okay. Okay, so let's start. Starting from chain one and into the double crochet here. Make a single crochet. Okay, then one, two, three chains. After three chains, make a double crochet two together picking up there are four doubles here can can you see that one two three four actually this is belongs to this space and this is belongs to this space and here this is a group and these are the groups so this is a lot of half double crochet and this is the uh, first half of double crochet so but we are going to crochet together so skip to a double crochet into the chain three we start so here insert pull up a loop and double crochet but do not finish two loops on the hook and yarn over and skip this double crochet and this double crochet into the next double crochet and 
double crochet. So three loops on the hook right now and yarn over pull through all three loops at a time. So I can, uh, we can make double crochet two together using these two double crochet. After that, three chains. One, two, three. Then into the next chain five space, make a single crochet. So it is easy to miss. Let's mark the first single crochet. Okay. And the next, let's make three chains again. After three chains, into the next chain five space. Here should be, uh, we are going to make a corner, this space. And I'm going to make three trebles. So wrap the yarn two times and insert the space and make a treble crochet. One into the same space two into the same space three so I made three trebles then let's make a corner five chains one two three four five and turn your work and three trebles again one two Sleeve. So I made a corner and I used one, two, three, five chain spaces. Okay, so let's repeat like this and next three chains. After the corner, starting with three chains and into the next space, single crochet and one to three chains and pick the first double crochet and the last double crochet so skip send middle two doubles and into the last one and make double crochet two together and three chains and single crochet and three chains and let's make a corner again so shape it into the next space make three trebles one two three and one two three four five and back to the same space one two sleep okay so three trebles five chains three trebles Slit chains, single crochet, slit chains. 
double crochet two together, three chains, single crochet, three chains. And the corner. Three trebles, five chains, three trebles. And let's repeat the same thing. So, one, two, three chains into the next space. Single and one, two, three chains and pick the double crochet and pick the other double crochet and double crochet two together and one, two, three chains into the next space single crochet one two three and make the corner again so three trebles one two three and one two three five okay so like this let's repeat to the beginning so lastly we started from the single crochet so and with three chains and join into the first stitch And chain one and this is how to crochet the square motif is it difficult is it simple okay so this is the first motif from the second motif we need to join so I'm going to show you how to join this motif together all right now let's move to the next step Okay, let's talk about uh, the last round joining. And after finishing the fourth round, I'm going to crochet fifth round and join as you go. So I marked a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six points with the markers. This is a point we need to join. So uh, the first you can just uh, mark as like this and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first, or oh, we are going to start to make uh, the first stitches. So as I introduced, starting with a single crochet and one, two, three chains. So in this case, we need to make double crochet two together. So picking the first double crochet and the last double crochet and double crochet two together to make the straight line so straight line and uh, here is the double crochet two together and then three chains and into the next space make a single crochet and three chains and we are going to make the corner and i'm going to join this corner of crocheting with this corner so first make three trebles okay next is five chains so when you join do like this two chains and pick the motif and from the long side and the yarn is under the hook and pick the motif five chains corner corresponding corner and make a chain and 
two more stitch so this is slip stitch join and after that back to the same space make treble crochet so make three trebles okay then we are going to make three chains and in this case one chain and from the long side insert into the corresponding chain space and make a chain it is called slip stitch and one more stitch one more chain and back to the same uh, next space and single crochet so now we joined into the both corners so like this corner and this chain uh, slit chain space so let's remove the markers after finish okay next is this slit chains before that we need to make our single crochet so i did single crochet here so let's join here so chain one and skip this single crochet and into the next space slip stitch and chain one and after that we need to make uh, double crochet two together as you can see here so we are going to do make double crochet two together into the first double and uh, last double and three loops together okay so like this and next is next three chain space okay let's do it together chain one and into the next space slip stitch and chain one so in this case we make three stitches and five stitches so it is a totally same stitch numbers so that's why it will work very well and make a single crochet and the last three chains so one and two and three and after that there is a next Base and here is the corner so we need to make three trebles into the next space make three trebles one two three and the next is five chain space corner so let's join one two chains and into the third chain from the long side and join and one and two so i did one side join now finished and after that just continue as we did on the last section so let's make three trebles so follow the pattern
three, and just repeat the pattern. One, two, three chains, and make a single crochet. And one, two, three, and make a double crochet. Two together. And one, two, three, into the next space. Make a single crochet, and one, two, three, and into the next space make a corner so one treble first one and second one and the third one okay and let's make a corner so one One, two, three, four, five. And back to the same space. Three trebles. One, two, three. Okay. So like this. And then repeat to the end. So now two motifs are joined like this. So here is the line of the joining. That is very natural, isn't it? Okay. Okay, joined. So let's fasten off. After additional chain one and fasten off. And let's weave the ends together. Okay, let's weave the yarn end from the long side. And make additional round. And then I would like to make a U-turn. And make one more U turn. And let's wave there the edge line. So in this case. Let's find out where, which way is more natural. I think this way is more natural in my case. So insert into the chain. Oops. So like this. And pick here. Insert and picking the back loop of the stitches and find out where is the most nice position to whip ends. So here is a little bit clouded, so that is maybe nice. So insert and shape it and pick the inside loop and going back. And 
going back again. So this is already tied. Okay. And pick the loop and going back again. So it is quite sturdy. Okay, like this. So maybe weave the ends and apple motif. Okay. Okay. You may feel this is not stable. It will move freely, so it doesn't work very well. I'm going to show you the next technique. You can tuck the stitches and it is very functioned and very stable. Okay, starting from the first chain and single crochet into the double crochet. Then chain one, chain two, chain three. After three chains, let's make double crochet two together. and one, two, three chains. And the next, we uh, I did single crochet over the chain, but I'm going to make one, two, three into the third chain, make a single crochet. So that stitches tucked doesn't move. And one, two, three chains. And next is the corner, so I'm going to make a corner and join three trebles first so here is here doesn't or uh, you know here will move but maybe you can do like this i don't know i i never tried it before but i'm going to or uh, i want to check it it will work or not so i'm going to try so this is the first chain and make The first treble crochet and this is the second chain and make the second treble crochet and this is the third chain and make a treble crochet you can do like this or you can make it over I think oh it doesn't look very nice so I, I, I don't like I'm sorry I don't like it so maybe you can just or tuck the first stitch or last stitch or maybe something but I prefer the stitch shows like this this is very beautiful isn't it I love this you know cues up shape of the stitches because it is you know very nice and neat look the same look and okay so next corner is the five chains and in that case make two chains and into the there is one two three four five chains here so pick the one two three the third chain and make a slip stitch to join and two more chains so the stitch is tucked here and tucked here so it doesn't move at all and after that make three more trebles and finish this corner first And now join this corner and next we need to join this space so chain one and there is one two three chain so into the second chain and slip stitch and 
the third chain. So, join and tucked. Then next, here is the next space. So make the single crochet, and there is one, two, three, four, five chains. So uh, one, two, three, into the third chain. Make a single crochet. So here is also tucked and doesn't move at all. And then make three chains. So one, and here one, two, three into the second two and three and next we need to make double crochet two together so double crochet and double crochet and two together okay and next is three chains so one and one two three chains so into the second chain and slip stitch and the third chain and back to the five chains so one two three into the third chain make a single crochet and one more third three chain so one and here one two and slip stitch and third chain and then skip these four doubles into the corner and make into the corner and make three trebles one two chains and here is one two three four five stitches so one two three into the third chain make a slip stitch and two more chains and joined so it is you know all tucked so doesn't move at all and here is also tucked so doesn't move barely secured I mean this stitch or this stitch and then if uh, when you make two la or oh, two side joining I'm going to show you how to do it but this is a one side joining we end the last row for more advanced technique okay and one two three and five chains so one two three single one two three and double crochet two together And one, two, three, and one, two, three into the third stitch. Single crochet and one, two, three, and the corner. So you can choose which way, either way. So try and try out an error. Please try to find your you know best answer to do it. Maybe maybe you know better than me. Okay. All right. So this is how to join the new way. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to crochet two sides joining. 
and I joined here for the second row and this is already joined so I'm going to show you how to do it here as well okay anyway let's start so start with single crochet to or uh, before chain one okay so starting with chain one and single crochet and chain three and double crochet into the first double and the last double and two doubles together then three chains and into the one two three in the center stitch make a single crochet and one two three okay now I'm going to make a corner so starting with three doubles so I change the color to show you how clearly how to show you clearly okay all right so after three trebles make two chains and find out which stitch is the best so here it's movable isn't it and this is a one two three so maybe in the third stitch make a slip stitch and make two more chains and then back Oh, let me <laughs> let me try that again. Okay, so yeah, and this one. All right. Okay, so after three trebles, two chains. And this is one, two, three chains, and here is the stitches to join. So I'm going to pick one each and tuck the stitch, and four and five. So that three motifs are joined tightly and make three more trebles chain one and next space skip three trebles and one two this one two three and one two three single one and move it to the next stitch uh, space one two here Two, three, and make double crochet two together. And chain one 
into the next stitch one two here two three and one two three and single crochet and one and before travels so there is one two three stitch chains and into the second stitch make the second one and one more and make the corner and next is the two sides so okay after three trebles all right after three trebles let's join the corners the corners are joined three motifs so i'm going to add one more here and i'm going to make two chains and joined so maybe in the same space three four five how it looks oh it's very good right and then back to the same corner space make three trebles to make corner all right so after three trebles chain one and there is one two three chain so into the second chain and slip stitch to join and one more chain then into the one two three fifths of the third stitch so one two three third chain make a single crochet and chain one and move to the next space here there is three chains so one two the second center stitch make a slip stitch to join and third chain and make two double crochet two together and chain one and into the next space so one two here slip stitch and join and one two three into the third chain make a single crochet and chain one oops and here one two three chain so into the second stitch make a slip stitch and one more chain then reach the corner so make three trebles first one two three and two chains and they are a one two three four five chains so one two three into the third chain make a slip stitch and four five and back to the first corner the last corner and three trebles one two three and one two three single one two three and double crochet two together so 
I did many times here, so I think you are now really clear. And single and gently and into the five chains corner make uh, make three trebles chain five corner and three trebles to make square shape so this is the how to do to corner join it is not so complicated it is still almost the same as the one side joining just a uh, pay attention where to join at the corner of the four motifs together. So after three trebles, one, two, three, and join into the first stitch. Okay. So this is the how to join <clears throat> two corners starting from the first corner and second corner and here already three motifs are joined so find a nice point and then continue and join so that you can make uh, many as many rows as you can and also there are or one motifs each so that makes slip and slip and slip so that is very really easy to make and let's make two panels of eight motifs and four rows okay see you then all right i made one two three four panels in panel first panel and one two three four motifs on for second panel and i attach like this and now right side together and long side is out okay so this is for the front so one two and a half and one and a half in my case but actually please refer this all diagram here it should be one two three four five six uh six and two and two and six so one and a half and three so double right one and a half and one and a half is three so it's double and like this so one and a half and shape like this so it looks like the neck earlier of the poncho okay and uh, I'm going to show you how to close these panels pieces and uh, so I attach like this right side together and here is uh, here are five chains so I attach with the third chains each and second chains each and the stitch of the the double crochet two together and skip skip these three chains and skip single crochet and the second chain and the or the joining stitch and the corner stitch like this so it all corresponding and this is the long side and this is the short end and short end and long end okay all right so let's close so it is totally up to you you can tie this end on or make a slip knot i'm going to show you how to make a slip knot and join okay all right let me zoom so now light side together and I don't like the stitch moves so I pick the third chain one two three and one two three in the middle and here also it is easy to find out one two three here for the third stitch and 
and pick up the loop and make a single crochet to attach so you can weave in this end later and after that let's make five chains one two three four five after five chains so let's skip these three trebles and there are uh, there is three chain space so one two three so into the second stitch oops And here also skip these three trebles and one two so second stitch and make a single crochet so actually you need to make all stitches with same color yarn but I would like to show you clearly so I'm going to use the different color yarn so one single crochet and five chains and one single crochet repeat like this so one two three four and five and skip next single crochet and ten three and into the stitch So here is double crochet two together and into the stitch. And here also double crochet two together and into the stitch. And pull up a loop and single crochet. So repeat like this one, two, three, four, five. and one two second one and one two oh always so one two always yarn is behind the hook otherwise you cannot make a single crochet Okay, and next one, two, three, four, five. And here is the joining point, and here is the corner. So it is a little bit different when you end, but usually you need to uh, join here one, two, three, four motif so here should be the joining point joining point joining point and here is the joining point in blue and jo uh, the corner at the second panel so the first you need to find out the joining point So here, this one, or pick the here. That is okay, if you like, it is easy. Um, if you'd like to in the stitch, maybe you can insert into the stitch or in the chain. So like this. And end. So you have many. Uh, you have four motifs. Please continue like this. This should be the joining point. So pick the same stitch. Okay. And after finish, chain one and fasten off. Oops.
So from the right side, look like this. And if you don't like this kind of joining, please join when you finish or please finish eight seventh round seventh panel. So seventh panel here and join here and here also finish with seventh round seventh panel and join in the the eighth panels so eighth motifs one two three four five six seven and then add the one more at the back and one more on front so that you can join um so for example this one should be the three side is joining and three side is joining and three side is joining like this so that you can uh, attach and join very naturally but if you uh, are not sure how to you know set up the shape this is the most easiest way uh, this is the easiest way so you can do like this and the pattern recommend this way and in my personal opinion i prefer to three sided joining to make more natural because this is the uh front section or back section and it is uh, quite you know visible earlier so if you don't like this uh this is a little bit different right so please remind that Okay, finished both and are joined like this. Okay, and the next step, we are going to add the lower edging. So let's talk about it. Oh, before that, this is the diagram of the pattern of the, mo the motif. So that you can follow this diagram and you can screenshot it. And this is how to join on the fifth round of the motif. So here in green, join. And in red, is finishing. So that is the way I just introduced in the white yarn. This one. So this one is this one. And please all use it. Okay, screenshot. Okay, all right, so let's move to the next step. Let's, next step is lower edging. So let's move to the lower edging and starting from the joining seam line. So it means here and attach the yarn into the corner and attach with a single crochet and start with three chains after making three chains make two more double crochet into the same stitch so single chain three and two single crochet Skip the first treble crochet into the second treble crochet. Single, one, two, three. And single, a double, and double. And next, skip next treble crochet and they allow one to three chain so into the second chain single one two three and into the same chain make two more double crochet repeat like this and next skip single crochet into the second 
chain single one two three and two doubles skip next chain and next stitch and next chain into the second stitch second chain single one two three and double and double so it's really simple and easy isn't it next skip single crochet skip chain skip single crochet skip si chain and into the second chain single one two three and double and double skip next chain and skip treble crochet and next is the second treble crochet single one two three and double and this is the corner or maybe joining point so in the joining point so skip treble and skip two chains and the joining point or third chain make a single crochet and one two three and two doubles and if this is a corner it is still same just skip two chains and one treble crochet and into the second treble crochet single and one two three and two doubles and after that just repeat so shape like this and Next is second chain, skip single into the second chain and second chain and second chain and the second treble and in the joining point. So I'm going to show you, uh, see you here, okay? Okay, this is the joining point. So in the joining point, same as before make single crochet and one two three chains and two doubles so like this it's so simple <laughs> the desk is white and the yarn is white so it doesn't look nice so I'm going to show you in better way okay how is it is it better so like this starting from here and here okay so I'm going to show you one more time so skip these two chains and one treble crochet into the second treble crochet and single and one two three and into the same stitch make two doubles crochet and into the second chain single and one two three okay and then single one two three One, 
two. And here also three chains, so into the second chain, one, two, three. And two doubles. And into the second chain, single one, two, three. So it is a little bit tight in the same stitch because we make three stitches in a stitch. And into the treble crochet, the second treble crochet, and one, two, three. And two doubles and skip one, two, and here is the joining part. So like this. So in between is the best position. And two doubles. Okay. So please continue like this. And here is another joining point. So I start from the next motif. It is up to you. You can use all the in between stitch here or the first motif. It is totally up to you. Okay, so this is the last stitch. Uh, single, one, two, three, and double, and double. Okay, and join into the first single crochet here. And join, and chain one, And fasten off. So just this is the lower edging. It is very simple and easy, isn't it? It's beautiful. And so maybe you can con make contrast with the uh, the different color. That is also beautiful. And I'd like to show you the you know multiple colors or multi colors square motif later or maybe you can guess with the diagram here so the colorful version is also beautiful and this pattern has the color version and one color version so you can check the photo this one or this one so you can change the color as you like okay so like this Oh, maybe we can use as a boat neck like this. And the shoulder line has shoulder line. That is also beautiful. Oh, it's a nice idea. I didn't know. I found like this. Okay. A fold in a half. And this is the lower edging of the poncho. And now we are going to make the neckline. And the pattern says, oh, we need to join the yarn at the shoulder motif in between motifs. In my case, I don't have any, uh, my shoulder is in the half. So that I'm going to start from the, from here. But you, in your case, oh, so it is, it doesn't look same, but like this. So the shoulder, if the shoulder is corner starting from here okay okay so let's pretend from starting this point so we should starting from the joining point of the shoulder 
and I pretend from here. Okay. And starting from single crochet. One, two, three chains into the second triple crochet. One, two, three chains into the second chain of the three chain space. And one, two, three chains and into the second chain single crochet. One, two, three into the second chain of the three chain space and single crochet. Chain three, single, chain three, and into the second treble crochet. And chain three, and in between these two motifs. And repeat this. And next, I'm going to show you how to crochet at the V area. Okay. So anyway, let's continue. Chain three and single. Chain three, three and single, three and single. Oops, something wrong. One, two, three. Okay, reach the corner. Three chains. And single in between here or this one. It's totally up to you. Maybe I'm going to use this stitch. And one, two, three chains, and in between, in the center stitch of treble crochet, and uh, repeat like this to the other V section, and coming back to the starting point. Okay. Okay, so lastly in the center treble crochet and chain one and double crochet into the first single crochet. So this is the first round and move to the second round. Starting with three chains and into the chain three space single crochet and one, two, three chains into the next uh, three chain space single crochet one two three in the next space single or if you don't like to or if you don't like moving the stitches you can use the second stitch like before or making single crochet and pull it tight in the center and one two three into the next space and single one two three into the next space and single oh excuse me and one two three and next space single and repeat to the next v section so here okay i'm reaching the v stitches here and i finished single crochet just one space before here so that I'm going to make slip stitches in both right and left spaces. Okay. And one, two, three chain and into the next space, single crochet and one, two, three chains and into the next space, single crochet. So that three chains here and in between I have one, two, three, four, or not the four, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
line. So this is the center line. So it is corresponding right and left. Okay. So and please continue the the other side and do the same thing on the opposite V area as well. Okay. So let's make sure once again three chains and single crochet. And here is right and left in this is the V line. So slip stitch into the next space. Slip stitch and one, two, three, and next space. Single crochet, one, two, three, next space. Single crochet. So this is symmetry. And almost finishing. So let's finish together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. So one, two, three. Okay, here is the last space before we started here. And we have we need three chains once again. So chain one and into the double crochet double crochet and finish and let's repeat uh, round two on round three and round four so start from three chains into the next space single crochet one two three chains single one two three and single so make three chains into the next space, make single crochet like that. And let's do it over the V area once again together. Okay, reaching the V area. So one, two, three chains and into the next space, single crochet. And here, chain three and here, chain three. So skip this one and skip this one. Slip and slip. And one, two, three, and into the next space, single crochet. So that decreased once again. So like this. And repeat third row and fourth row. And this is the end of the third row. So chain one and into the double crochet, make a single uh, double crochet. And chain three and repeat and repeat fourth round and finish here and i'm going to skip the fourth round and i'm going to show you how to finish at the fourth round so whenever you want to finish usually we are going to make chain one and double crochet but instead of it instead of those uh, we are going to make three chains and into the double crochet and slip stitch to join and finish so you can make one two three and four i finish low three but if you prefer three rounds that is okay if you prefer five rounds that is still okay so please check your fitting and if you like that fitting please continue okay so this is how i crochet or how crochet how to crochet this po granny poncho and i'm going to show you how beautiful multi multi colors grannies okay see you then okay if you'd like to use all some colors on the in the center you can use one two three colors and the fourths are always same so that you can match any motif with any motifs or you can change every colors like this so you can pop out the square shape you know very uh are uh, the popping out the square so it is more cubic uh feeling and uh, if you choose a uh, fourth land and fifth land the same colors only flowers popping out so that it is like a uh, uh, blooming in the garden so it's totally up to you. You can use only one color or just use accent color on the border edging only or you can you can enjoy only one color or many colors and many effects so you can 
change every round of this neck edging as well. So it is totally up to you. And uh, in my case, I use the center. I, I use the dark uh, the blue and darker pink and pale, uh, pale pink and natural tone so that it's more natural taste and uh, nice look. Okay, so this is my, uh, the tip of this granny poncho. And how was it? Did you enjoy that? And the uh, lower edging, I, I'm going to show you the diagram. So this is the diagram, lower edging and neck edging. And uh, repeat four times. So this is Please repeat four rounds like this. Okay, so this is the everything that I need to tell you. So please enjoy this poncho and see you in my next video. And see you then. Thank you for watching and see you. Bye bye.